One of my favorite ways to experience this is, is getting out in that kayak, getting on the river. It gives you a sense of the scale of this place. As you paddle up into the estuary, it really opens up to you how big of a wetland this is and maybe the importance and the scale of it uh, is apparent when you get into there on a kayak. This preserve is about 1,500 acres. Uh, of course, it surrounds the Mink River, which we're standing on right now. It's really tied to the ebb and flow on a daily basis of the lake. That helps maintain some of the diversity that we see here. So it's not a static community. It changes hour to hour and day to day. And that's what makes an estuary an estuary, but it's also what makes this a really, really rich place for nature. If you looked at an aerial photo or a map, you really couldn't miss the Mink River. It's pretty big, close to the tip of the peninsula. In Ellison Bay, there's many ways that you can interact uh, with nature on our preserve. Uh, one of those ways is there's several trails that are uh, great for hiking, some that are maybe for more um, tenacious hikers where you can get off the beaten path, but also some like the trail we're on today, our show and burn trail, that is uh, more of a packed gravel, wider trail uh, for those who maybe want an easier experience uh, seeing the preserve. So there's several of those. My personal favorite way to experience the Mink River is to launch a kayak. When the water's high like this, you can kayak all the way up into the Mink River estuary. You can see with your own eyes kind of those native uh, Canada Blue Joint grass and these other sedge communities that make this such an interesting place. I, we often say the Mink River is one of the last high quality untouched estuaries in the Great Lakes. So it makes it really, really important regionally. In addition, this Mink River Preserve, as well as many of the lands surrounding us, so Newport State Park, all the way down through the Ridges Sanctuary, is part of, uh, we call them Ramsar Wetlands, but it's a whole complex of wetlands and shorelines like this that have been designated as wetlands of international importance uh, by the Ramsar Convention. Some of those places include Horicon Marsh, with, uh, which people who are birders in Wisconsin might be very familiar with, but also the Everglades. Um, when we think of really unique wetland habitats, uh, most people are familiar with the Everglades. And uh, for me to think that these wetlands are, are on par with some of those sites really makes it a, a special place for us here in Door County.